Hello everybody, this is the second part of the Black Ball Potting Guide. Um, I'm going to jump straight on the shots because videos are too long. So this is the half ball black. Half ball black, low on the black, very important one. First shot I'm going to show is the slow roll. Pretty much the same as the three quarter ball black. You have to overcut the black slightly. If you're playing slow, you cannot really afford to play with side because the cue ball is going to swerve. So you aim for the middle on the white or millimeter side spin if you want. That's all right, but not too much side on the slow shot. And now I'll have to overcut the black ball slightly. So here I'm aiming to overcut the black just a little bit. I play slow. And there's the drag effect which gets the ball in. I was aiming for the near jaw, but because it's slow, then the drag effect and then for the ball. Uh, you might not recognize this, that you're overcutting the black. You might not recognize it, but believe me or not, you have to overcut that black to get it in. Next shot is going to be the top spin medium pace. This shot is easy to play, very easy, very natural shot to play because there is no throw, there is no drag. You don't have to use any side spin. You might ensure yourself with a millimeter, but that's not absolutely necessary. I do it because I like it and I like the contact between the balls. So I'll play top spin, medium pace, millimeter right hand side, and I'm just playing naturally to get the black in the pocket. I'm aiming for the middle of the pocket. So it's top spin, just millimeter. medium pace and then you get the black in the pocket it becomes more interesting <coughs> sorry about it um, it be it's becoming more interesting with the the soft stuns and soft stun runs on the soft stun and soft stun run there is lots of drag it's huge it's huge so you have to compensate it with side. Now I'm going to play the soft stun run. So the cue ball is going to be somewhere there. And I'm using more than half tip side. This is lots of side spin. So it's about one tip to the right on the cue ball to cancel the throw. This is lots of side. So that was the soft stun run. I call it stun run because it's forward than 90 degrees. 90 degrees is, is uh, this. This is the 90 degrees angle of the black. So this is the stun. And when it goes forward than 90 degrees, I call it stun run. Doesn't matter where you aim on the cue ball because there are different spots on the cue ball in terms of how much power you put into it. So. Next shot is going to be the soft stun. Soft stun is the biggest throw, biggest squeeze. So here I'm going to use more side spin. I'm going to use around, again, one tip to the right on the cue ball to cancel the throw and to help the pot. So this is lots of side. This is around one tip to the side. And this is, this is uh, the soft stun. Maybe not, not the softest one, but this is the soft stun. You have to use the side spin here. Everybody does it. All top professional players are doing it. So you have to use that side. And now if you're playing harder stun run and harder stuns, then you use a little bit less side because if you play it with too much side and too hard, the cue ball is going to be pushed offline. So now I'm going to play the stun run with more power and I'm using less side spin. Again, it's going to be good amount of side, but not too much. So this is the 
the stun run with quite quite a lot of power. It's like eight out of ten power. And now the hard stun shot. These shots are usually when you have to open the pack. Because it's hard stun, I'm using less side again. Maybe not perfect stun, but still, still pretty much reasonable. This is hard shot. You use a little bit less side. Now let's see the screw backs. Soft screw back here. Again, there is going to be lots of throw. Soft screw back. Um, you're going to use this shot when you want to hold the cue ball. Very common shot. Very useful shot. So you have to have it in your armory. I'm going to use maybe the most side spin on this shot from any shot here on the black. So this is lots of side. This is more than one tip side. And this is now the soft screw back. Almost, it cue ball reacts almost like a stun. There is almost no side in the cue ball and um, yeah but I am at the very bottom in the cue ball so so that's why that's why because it's almost done cue ball is not spinning a lot backwards when it hits the black um, that's why you need loads of side um, and now now next shot is going to be hard screw back harder screw back I will reduce the side spin a little bit. Because the speed of the shot is higher, then the throw is less. And that's why I'm using, this is one of the reason, reasons why I'm using less side. Because the speed is higher. And the other reason is, with the higher speed, if you're using too much side, the cue ball can be pushed offline. And when the cue ball is pushed offline, you're gonna miss it thick, this one. Now I'll play the most powerful screw back. This shot is used when you have very tight bunch and you have to really get into the bunch of reds. And um, yeah, tough shot, not an easy shot. I'll use a little bit of side, not too much. Okay, maybe you've seen my cue going like crazy after the shot, but that's because I want to use lots of power and the cue ball arcs around the table. There are going to be videos how to open the pack of reds and you see this shot in, in action. So that was the part two of the black ball potting guide. Um, maybe the most important part of the potting guide because on the half ball blacks, the throw is a lot, the squeeze is a lot and that's why you have to use lots of side spin especially on the soft shots. Soft screw, soft stun, soft stun run, you have to use lots of side, you have to make that cue ball spinning so when the cue ball spins and hits the black, cancels that throw and this is how every top professional player is playing the shot. Some of them maybe they don't do it consciously, but on subconscious level they are doing it. And, and that's how top players are playing. And bear in mind that these balls are polished. This black is shiny and new. These balls are new and they're polished. And this cloth is three weeks old. So really um, conditions are absolutely perfect. And again, you have to use that side. So this is the end of part two. Um, in the next part, you're gonna see the thin cuts and then I'm going to start with the high blacks. So you can see how the use of side spin gets you in position for some shots from the high blacks and also I'm going to show some cushion pots. 
Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, share the video so many players can see it and many players can understand how you put them both. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.